Her suspicions were true. Last month, we told you about a mother who feared her 17 year old daughter died of a fentanyl overdose. This week, the medical examiner's toxicology report confirmed that news. In 2020, fentanyl, often mixed with other common street drugs, was present in 83 percent of opioid related overdoses. Alicia Barrera spoke to the family and has more about their mission to track down the dealer and spark some change at a state and federal level. We died inside when our daughter died. So we're numb. For Veronica Caprosi and her husband, Daniel, it's a hard truth to process. Fentanyl, toxicity, accidental. Nearly three months after finding her 17-year-old daughter, Danica, unresponsive, her parents are ready to fight. Something she tried to ease her mind and somebody poisoned her. Something needs to be done because this drug is killing our children. The Caprosis have reached out to state representative John Lujan and Congressman Tony Gonzalez to push for stricter penalties for fentanyl distribution. I want justice for my daughter um, because that was murder. Whether there was intent or not, my daughter's not here. She's six feet under and uh, that's intent enough. Selma Police continues its investigation to determine how Danica was able to get this drug, and her parents say investigators do have a key piece of evidence in their hands, which is their daughter's phone. Veronica suspects her daughter was yeah. trying to get access to Xanax, a prescription drug sometimes used to treat insomnia. I'm assuming that it was through text or through Instagram. Very hard to process because I knew my daughter didn't want to die. And according to Rise Recovery CEO Evita Morin, most often those using drugs are not looking for fentanyl. They're not looking to die. And fentanyl is a hidden drug in these in these other drugs that they're taking. And they're they're dying prematurely because they did not know. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.